Dr. Howard Schneider is a well-known dentist in Jacksonville, Florida, who many now call a monster. Schneider is accused of sadistic serial child abuse for intentionally inflicting pain on his little patients. He's made millions off Medicaid by treating, or some say mistreating and abusing poor and disabled children by doing unneeded dental work. Dr. Schneider is the worst dentist in America that I've ever seen. After 47 years in practice, Dr. Schneider finally messed with the wrong mom. But then when I got turned down by the police, it just made me even more angry. And I was like, well, if they can't help me, then I'm just gonna put matters into my own hands. What got Brandy Motley so upset? This. These are photos of her daughter, Brielle, right after an appointment with Dr. Schneider in December of 2014. Brandy was told there had been an accident. That's when I seen Brielle on the papoose board hyperventilating and br uh, blood everywhere. What condition was she in? Well, she was hyperventilating, screaming, crying. She had a big bruise on her head, and I got her in the car, and that's when she pulled her gauze out, and I noticed all of her teeth were missing. And that's when she told me, Mommy, they're lying to you. And she told me what happened. Dr. Schneider pulled eight baby teeth, even though Brielle's mom claims she didn't even have one cavity. Four on the top and four on the bottom. All of her front teeth and all of the bottom front teeth were gone. All she had was jaw teeth. Brandy called police and took Brielle straight to the hospital. Well, I had the police meet me there, and then they called DCF, and that's when they started examining her, and that's when they pointed out the handprints on her neck. Brielle later told her mom she had been choked. She also had a goose egg on her forehead the size of a golf ball. How'd you get that bump? She threw me on the ground. The hospital discovered five-year-old Brielle actually suffered a facial fracture. So where was the fracture? It was from our nose to our eye socket, all on the same side, on the right side. Is it repaired yet? Yeah, they said it would grow back. Apparently, that was not enough for police to investigate, but they told Brandy they would forward the case to the Department of Health. Now I'm mad because the police can't do anything. Brandy says she called several lawyers, but they wouldn't take her case. It's frustrating. Why do you blame yourself? I just, uh, I should have seen the red flags. So Brandy went on Facebook and let it all out. And I posted her pictures along with what happened that day. What was the reaction? It happened really fast. Within an hour, it was, it was already shared over 2,000 times, and then it just kept growing and growing and growing. It was big. Brandy's Facebook page about Dr. Schneider, which now has more than 14,000 supporters, brought other parents out of the shadows. We seen a thing on Facebook where they were having a meeting at the town hall. And then I realized that Thomas was not the only child. I was like, holy crud, what's going on with this guy? Brandy organized the Mad Moms, and they started protesting Dr. Schneider's office every day for several weeks. The more they protested, the more news spread, and tempers flared. Here, our affiliate in Jacksonville, Florida, actually catches a protester lunging at Dr. Schneider after he tells the moms to leave his office. I actually heard it on the news. That's when Grandma sprang into action and joined the protest. And I pulled right up. Yes, I am finally going to be heard. Finally. I was so happy. Their story is all too familiar. Little Dariah went in for two cavities, and she came out with a mouth full of caps. We like, filed a complaint mm -hmm. against him. Deja Smith says no one would take her complaint seriously. I tried to get help. I tried to get heard. Nobody wanted to listen to me. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, finally. Yes. Years later, but finally. 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 Finally, indeed. After weeks of protests last May, Dr. Schneider gave up. He voluntarily relinquished his license to practice and shut down his office. But that was still not enough. The chorus of irate moms finally got the attention of state investigators, the ones who they say ignored their previous complaints. The uh, attorney general's office called my home. We tried to talk to Dr. Schneider, but he barked at our producer and told Crime Watch Daily to get off his property. Get your hell out of here. Then he called the cops on us.
Six months after the mad mom shut down the alleged little shop of horrors, Dr. Howard Schneider was arrested and charged with 11 counts of Medicaid fraud for performing procedures without parental consent and submitting unauthorized claims for Medicaid reimbursement. The handcuffs made me smile. Yes, yes ma'am. Schneider was booked and released on a $110,000 bond. The Florida Attorney General's office would not talk to us about the ongoing investigation. When Dr. Schneider got arrested, it made me so happy. It's not just Schneider who's in trouble with the law. His former dental assistant, Latosha Bevel Hillsman, seen here trying to protect Schneider, has been charged with practicing dentistry without a license. We went looking for her, but she wasn't home. Latosha? He needs to be punished. And sitting in jail um, is a relief to me. The punishment has begun. Schneider's office is closed. His beautiful mansion is in foreclosure, and he and his wife have filed for divorce, though there's speculation that may have been done to protect assets. In the last uh, five years before his practice was shut down, he had made four point something million dollars just from Medicaid. Dr. Schneider denies the allegations and would not talk to us. His attorney sent us this statement. It is the practice of my law firm to try cases in the courtroom, as I have found that soundbite journalism is not conducive to the discovery of truth. For this reason, my client and I respectfully decline your offered opportunity to participate in a process which has heretofore been anything but fair and balanced. But the angry moms are not done yet. They vow to take their fight to court until every child gets justice. Crime Watch Daily was with the mad moms waiting at the courthouse for his latest hearing, but Jacksonville's most notorious dentist never showed. Oh, I'll be here every time, regardless if he shows or he doesn't show. He claims he had car trouble. We don't know. The mad moms can add another victory to their list not long after we did our interviews the families reached a settlement agreement with Dr. Schneider, the terms of which are confidential. In the meantime, several of the children have begun treatments with new dentists to restore their smiles.